We're live on right now. Bingo. We'll take this and probably do a little bit of video editing with it as well because that's something I thought, well, I'd really like to kind of be able to show kids how you import video into the computer, use iMovie. You can do transitions. You can do different things like that. My goal is to be able to have kids, if they want to learn something like that, be able to go watch the video. Not everybody has to do it, but if someone wants to do it, they can. But first, I wanted to make sure in all my classes, I kind of went over how technology education evolved and how it started. Okay. And there's been like three or four big revolutions in America. When we first came over to America, they had number one, the agricultural revolution. If you don't know that or you didn't write it down before, write it down. The agricultural revolution. We learned how to farm. We used about plows, crops, all those different things. Then after the agricultural revolution, learning how to grow things and agriculture, we had the industrial revolution. Okay. In the Industrial Revolution, if you've seen any of the men who built America, you have seen a little bit about the Industrial Revolution. When that started, it started industrial education. Okay. Uh, prior to that, the education was called manual arts. Manual means doing it by hand. Okay. This class that I teach was originally called manual arts, doing it by hand. Then with the agricultural revolution, they had agriculture education. Then with the industrial revolution, this class, in fact, when I started teaching it, it was called industrial arts for industrial industry, like the industrial revolution. Okay. And it changed then more recently from industrial education or industrial arts to not just an art type class, but to industrial technology, okay? And that's kind of the last and final revolution America is going through right now, the technology or the information revolution. So here's the three, okay? The agricultural revolution, the industrial revolution, and last, the technology or information revolution. This way, this class is called, you know, we have different names for it. Like I said, it started out manual arts, industrial arts, industrial technology, industrial education. And that is kind of how the class became what it is today, which in most schools, this class is called industrial technology. Industry being examples of, uh, well, examples of our industry in Clarkston here would be like the Jet Boat Makers, Clearwater Paper, Bennett Lumber, ATK, the Bullet Maker, okay? Those are examples of industry in our valley. The last thing, the technology education. With the technology education, the class evolved not just from technology education, but to vocational education. Okay, and with vocational education, they started including the DECA class, the marketing. At the high school, you have different options of classes to join. You have, um, you know, DECA, Distributive Education Clubs of America, Agricultural Ev Education, which is FFA, Future Farmers of America. And then uh, there's FCCLA, VICA, Vocational Industrial Clubs of America. And about one year ago, this class took a, uh, its last and most recent name change to CTE, Career and Technical Education. This is a book I just got today, Goodhart Wilcox, Technical Trades, Technology, and it lists all of the different areas of education that CTE, which stands for Career technical education includes. So CTE, -E, career, like vocational. A vocation is something you can do the rest of your life. A job is something you're just going to do temporarily. Okay? If you're, if you're looking for a career, 
I said yesterday the average person spends 98,000 hours at their career. Okay? 98,000 hours. Think about that. A 40-hour week is the average for a work week. So take 98,000, divide that by 40, and that's how many weeks you would work on average throughout your lifetime. In your career, not your job. The jobs I've had are the easy ones, like, you know, uh, working at the gas station.